we've really enjoyed it. We're in we're nearly our second week now, coming to the end of our second week. So players we've had back at the moment are all looking good and in pretty good condition. But uh, you're right, it's a beautiful place we're at just now and we're all enjoying the, the sunshine as you can see. You want to treat your players well, you want to give them the best you think you can and uh, I do because they've, they've earned it but uh, but also you know they should appreciate it as well you know the club have been good they've got us a couple of really good uh, areas for us to train we're up at St Andrews which we really enjoy and, uh, and coming out here as well it's giving us a break we've been at Rush Green a lot over the last few years and not really had a chance to get away anywhere so uh, we've had five days in Scotland we've had five days here in France so uh, hopefully they'll appreciate it and uh, will benefit from it. But we don't have any international players here yet because they're all returning back. So we mustn't we mustn't forget that you know we're we're here sort of half cooked at the moment, trying to you know get everybody back, get them fit, get them ready for the season to start. So yeah, well we've got we've got a lot of young boys. We're hoping to give them some playing time uh, tomorrow, and we're hoping to give them some playing time though in, in midweek, and we'll get a couple of games in midweek as well. So. Hopefully it's good for them. They started back four or five days before us, so uh, hopefully they'll be in a slightly better condition. But, uh, but obviously the pre-season games matter, but, but they're still only there for the purpose of getting the players fit and ready for, for the new season. You mentioned internationals, you'll all be back together on, on Monday at Rush Green and that's when you can really get down to work. Well, they've started back, the boys already. They're back now, so... They'll be they'll be training there. They're not they're, we've not brought them out with us for the last couple of days, but they'll know everybody back together on Monday. But only we'll to just take our time with those boys. They're not that long finished playing. We're still sort of recovering them, but yet trying to pick them back up again. When we sign players, we hope that they come and they're all going to add something. We need them to add value to what we've already got. Uh, we hope they, they improve what we've got as well, that's a big thing. So uh, I think Naf will help us and uh, I think he'll you know, he'll give us something else. So we, we missed a little bit of natural left-sided balance last year, especially when Angelo got injured. So uh, we're hoping he does that. Finn Downs, he's, he's a good young player. Yeah, we do. We think he's got good energy. We think he's got a lot of things which we have about our team which we're wanting to keep and we want to add to. Uh, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, we brought a similar situation. Jared Bone was in a different situation. We brought him from Hull. So we're always trying to find which we think boys from the Championship who are going to step up to become Premier League players. Uh, I'm hoping that Finn does. I think there's a, a good chance. He's got an awful lot of good attributes. Place to have, Mark. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm sad that I lost Stuart Pearce and I was really sad when I lost Alan Irvin. I've had two, two really good guys, incredibly loyal, uh, Great people to work with, and also, you know, their knowledge and their experience was great for me. I wanted someone, somebody who I felt was similar, and Mark comes with great experience. You know, managed a lot of really big clubs, and because of my staff, I want to piece in something which adds value to it as well. Someone who can bring someone else, and I think his understanding of of being a, a recent manager, playing in the champ, eh, working in the championship, knowing a lot about the championship as well, eh, will be helpful. But for him, you know, as well, it'll be a step up to, to come to West Ham where you know, we're competing at the top of the Premier League and, and aim to stay there. We always had planned that we would keep Lucas, you know, we're, we're happy to do that. Lucas has been great and I thought he played uh, particularly well last season. Competition will come stronger this year because of Alfonso signing. And, uh, no, it's good. I think we need competition. Got a lot of games to play. You saw how it was last year. We're, we're, you know, we're expecting to go as far, if not further, next year in a lot of the competitions. So we're going to need to, we're going to need these players. For a manager, this is probably the best time because there's less stress and pressure on you. You can, you can be a little bit more chilled out. But you know, it's still a busy time. Where, as everybody knows, we're we're trying really hard to add to the, the squad. That's where the sort of little bit of the pressure comes at this time of the year, trying to get those uh, those players in you'd like to add to the squad.